So you can see here that I have siding on the uh, one side and on the back. We're going to go ahead now and start siding the front. And I'll be cutting out the boards as I go for the windows instead of cutting them out later. But I'm going to side this left to right. Then the last thing I'll side is the, um, the side here. Okay, our siding needs to be 83 inches long. I'm going to go ahead and mark a few of these. So tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off tonight. I'll get this sided, get the gable end up here, the gable truss, get that in place and go ahead and side the short side there. We're still continuing to work on our siding on the front here. We have all the way over to the third window sided. We've got to finish up this piece here. Uh, another hot day, but there's one cloud. See it way over there? Yeah, that's the one cloud in the sky. I don't think it's going to cover the sun, though. Right here at the window edge, so I'm going to trace the inside here and cut that out. Since I'm getting low on screws, I'm going to go ahead and 
video the uh, gable uh, installation here show you what I'm doing I'm gonna take the gable truss and I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch bit and I'm gonna drill down here approximately an inch And I'm going to put, oh, let's see, three of those in. And what I'm going to do is anchor, it's going to help me anchor the uh, truss onto the uh, wall with some four inch screws. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a two by four and attach it here so it gives me a little support We're going to be bringing the trusses into the up to the chicken coop. You can see it right through the rops of the tractor there. So I'm going to load these trusses onto the tractor bucket. I put an angle bracket on each truss so that when I work by myself, I can put these onto the um, sidewalls and pull it against the sidewall. And know that I have 18 or 19 inch. I have 19 inches from here to the end. I'm on a ladder here looking over the the top plates of the chicken coop here and what I want to do before I um, put my trusses in I want to make sure these walls are eight foot from outside a plate to outside a plate over there here's the other side boy am I happy with that I think two screws on each one will be perfect. Trusses are all up. 
the siding's all on the chicken coop. Let's take a walk around and take a look. Got the nesting boxes back here. Got the roof on, just gotta put my uh, shingles wherever I'm gonna put on top of that. Got a door to build here. The door's gonna hinge down bottom, hinge down. So we reach in and grab the eggs and clean the nesting boxes. The storage side of the coop over here. Take a look inside here. You have a, we see the partition wall. Don't have that sided yet, but that's going to give me a four foot by eight foot uh, storage area for chicken feed and so on. Now I'm starting to put the pearl ends on. Tough to do again by yourself, but little tricks. I don't know if you can see that. I just put a screw at the end of the trusser to hold up my pearl end. I got the other end screwed in and I'm leaving approximately an inch like that right about there. And I'll screw this pearl in and they're gonna go two foot on centers all the way up to the peak. Go down and order the, then I'll go down and order the uh, roofing metal to the length I need. Okay, we left off the other day putting the purlins on. We have all those done. Here's a short side of the roof. Walking around the side. This will be the chicken coop side here. And you can see the purlins are all done on this side. What I've been working on this morning, and I'll do the other side with you, trimming off the gable ends. And I'm using a two by four or two by fours to trim these off. And I'll show you a couple tricks if you're working alone or if you're gonna work alone in order to get these up here and, and looking good on the ends and square like they should be. So let's swing around here and I'll show you how we're getting started. All right, first thing I did, took a two by four, used my, remember I, I saved my pattern for my trusses. And so the trim up in the peaks are gonna be the same angles as the truss uh, patterns that I had up here. So you can see that I cut that pattern. Here's the angle that's gonna go up in the peak. Right. Now, how am I gonna hold this by myself? Well, I screwed a little board on down here at the other end where this trim piece is gonna go on. And I'm going to go up the ladder, the big ladder, and I'm going to get it positioned, screw it into place with one screw come back down this side and then mark the angle on the uh, trim piece with a marker here.
And there we go. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead with the other end. Did the same thing here. Took the truss pattern, cut the angle, made this a little long, put it up in place, cut it off. Okay, and there's that end. Okay, last thing I gotta do, I gotta put some blocking in here, like I did on the other side, two by fours here to block this off. I got one, two, three, five pieces of blocking plus a little peak area up there. And then the last thing I gotta do is put the fascias on both sides. Then we're ready for the metal roof, which I'm picking up this afternoon. I got uh, the roofing, drip edge, and ridge cap. Okay, we'll both have the blocking put in. I'll go up and put one piece in here. I got two pieces to go. That's all there is to that. Is just You're just closing this gap up here. And we got one more gap up here. So when this is done, and I got the and I got fascias to put on over here, and on the front side, then this is all ready to go for the roofing. The next step would be um, the fascias, then the drip edges, and then the roofing. Then the ridge cap, of course, would go last. <laughs> 